Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope everyone has a wonderful day today and I have two small project shares. So I'm going to show you the dies and then I'll show you the projects and one of them I need to measure made up because it's a bag of bits. There it is. It's a little dog and it sits inside of a Christmas stocking. My second die that I've used is the angel die with the wing spread and one of the things that I didn't put on the table is the frames that I used so I'm just going to grab those knocking my camera around and I use the medium and the smaller frame in that wavy stitch set. So that is what I've used today. I've also used my pickup tool because it's little bits and I've also used my white gel pen to dot the eyes. Now the first one I will show you is my super quick and easy one and that is that angel die because of course you can cut that out and you can lay it all in with lots of glittery pieces and you can blink her up and make a beautiful card with her but I decided to do it very simply in white cardstock and then thread it up with ribbon because the area here where the bun of her hair goes is an aperture that you can thread ribbon through. So I made a Christmas ornament and uh, it looks really, really pretty on the tree because, of course, all the twinkly lights and everything shine straight through it. So that was really quick and really easy. And that's my first one. And I will measure that angel die. And she is, I'll just grab my ruler, sticking down to the mat. From the top of her wings to the bottom there is four inches. And then across the widest points, which is the skirt, is just shy of three and a quarter inches. So she's a lovely size and a great thing to be able to make some ornaments for your tree. I mean, you can still bling them up and everything, but what a great die to use with children so that they can, you know, just quickly cut some angels and pop them on the tree. I really like that. So that's my first one. And then my second one, which requires measuring, of course, is the little doggy in the Christmas stocking. Let's do a close up there. I used a lime green glitter paper and a red glitter paper because I just wanted that to sparkle and to stand out from the matte finish of the holly and the berries. I used my, whoop, if we can get in there, you can barely see it. This is the Touch 5 um, Cool Grey and that one is number 1 and it gives just a really, really faint shadow outline so that you can give white characters just a little bit of depth. This Snowflake cardstock is from that pack I showed on Monday and that's from Tuesday morning. The glitter card stock is, let me get this right, this is also from Tuesday morning. I believe that's a die cuts with a view pad. My white card stock, as always, is from Michael's. And then the um, matte finish card stock, that is from Joanne. But there is that wavy edge stitch frame again. And I just absolutely love it. I just think it's so cute white gel pen to dot the eyes and to give him a little bit of character and that tiny little tongue there just cut with a little piece of pink card stock. I do keep all my tiny little scraps for doing things like that and I have them in a box so that if I need to just cut small eyes or a nose or something they're just like two inch square pieces of card stock that I keep and uh, I can do things like that. The background card stock there, that craft card stock, that came from a large pack from Michael's. Yeah. 
So that is what I have to show you today, but he's really, really sweet, and I'm going to measure him in his stocking. So from the top of his head to the base of his stocking is three and a half inches, and then going across, I think the widest point there is that hanging loop. So if I can go down, I will say that he's just over two and three quarter inches wide. But I just think he's so sweet. I mean, if you know somebody who's got a puppy that's brown, you can cut it in brown or make the ears black or put a little patch on his eyes or anything like that if you're trying to mimic somebody else's dog to give them a card like that for Christmas but I just love that and I also love this because I can go away now and I can cut lots and lots of angels and put them on my tree and it looks like I went out and spent a lot of money buying some Christmas decorations I think she's really sweet well, you have a fabulous day and I will be back tomorrow with um, projects from KLJ UYP. Yes, that name is a mouthful and I always try to say it correctly. So that's what I will be doing tomorrow. As usual, all links below. Bye.